Guys, it's Daniel from Marketing Food Online. So you want to create your food product, but you can't sell it commercially when you're creating it from your home. So what other options are available to you? Well, there's always the commercial kitchen, but have you heard about the kitchen incubator? That's coming right up on Marketing Food Online. So you want to know what is a kitchen incubator? That sounds kind of like an interesting title for a commercial kitchen, but what does it actually do and how can it benefit you if you're wanting to get into food business and you have a passion for a certain product that you want to create or just a passion for food in general, but you want to make money doing it and you don't have, of course, a hundred grand or more to create a commercial kitchen. And I can attest to you from my own personal experience, it will be very costly for you to open up your own kitchen. So, how do you get started and where can you find one? Okay, number one, a kitchen incubator is like a rental, rented commercial kitchen, okay? It is a commercial kitchen that you can rent. You can either rent it by the hour or you can rent it by the day, okay? But the only difference that separates just a commercial kitchen from a commercial uh, kitchen that's a kitchen incubator is the additional services that an incubator actually has. And what are those services? They are anywhere from entrepreneurial classes to teach you entrepreneurial skills, there's a lot of people out there who love to start a food business, but to be quite honest, in some cases, the business side of it is something that they may be lacking or they don't know enough about. And that keeps a lot of people from starting their business. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, don't. Don't let that stop you. Don't let anything stop you. And not to sound corny or try to get into a philosophy or anything of that sort, but do yourself a favor. If you want to do this, stick with it. Do not stop and don't give up because you will have bumps in the road. You're going to have hurdles to get over. You're going to have a lot of decisions to make, but that shouldn't stop you, okay? You need to see the end result, and that is you being an entrepreneur selling your food product, period. And whatever it is you need to get from A to B, you need to do that to make it happen, okay? So back to what a kitchen incubator has. It has that entrepreneurial business uh, classes or courses. A lot of them offer that. They also offer package and design, logo. They help you with your logo and your label. They also help you with product launches and your product distribution. That is probably one of the most important aspects of creating your food product that you may not understand the process from getting your product into a package, getting it labeled, following the right uh, guidelines in the labeling process, making sure that you have it priced right, and then getting it out into distribution, okay? So the incubator concept, which is actually spreading like crazy across the United States right now, um, is going to offer you a heck of a lot more than just a kitchen with commercial appliances and storage space for your food product. There's going to be a lot more to it, and that's why they even started them, is to kind of foster and create that environment for those people who are wanting to start a food business but only really have a passion and understanding of the recipe as opposed to the processes in the business world to get it out into customers' hands. So with that being said, I've had a lot of comments and a lot of great questions from you guys. By the way, thank you very much for your support um, as far as the questions are, are going and a lot of the thumbs up that you're giving me that my videos are helpful. I do sincerely appreciate that, by the way. Um, so the idea is this, is how can you find if you have a kitchen incubator near you and then what does it cost or how can you get into one? I'm going to explain to you how to do that. So number one, Google is your best friend, okay? Um, I personally don't know every single city's uh, a quantity of these types of incubators everywhere that they may be, but I can tell you that they're in a lot of cities. I've done quite a bit of research on kitchen incubators and found out where they mostly are but they are spreading like crazy. And I think there's actually a company that franchises the concept of a kitchen incubator. Um, I'll look into that and get, do that on another video. But if you're in this state, and I'm just gonna pick one at random, let's say you're in the state of North Carolina, okay? And you wanna find out, hey, is there a kitchen incubator in North Carolina? And then the next question is, is it near me? Because obviously you don't wanna be driving 400 miles one way to create a batch of products and then drive back. That would be counterproductive. So go to Google. You want to type in your state and you want to put in list of North Carolina kitchen incubators and it's incubators. Okay. And what I'm going to do down below in the description, I'll put a couple helpful links to kind of get you started, but that's going to give you a chance to see if there is one near you. Okay. Now, if there isn't near one of those uh, specifically near you, don't worry. There are multiple ways to create your food product if you can't 
create it in your home and sell it as a commercially made product. Now, commercial kitchens are set up just for that so that the, you could create a food product within a commercially licensed and, uh, facility that is following all of the guidelines set up by state, county, and lo local county and state and federal guidelines for food production in a commercially licensed facility. That is why they are there. So how does that work for you if you are on, you're living in your home, obviously, and you want to go to a physically go to a commercial kitchen and produce a product and then try to sell that locally to grocery stores? Okay, so this is what you do. Number one, you need to locate a commercially uh, a available kitchen that can be rented out. Okay, and normally they're rented out on a price range, and this is just a price range estimation between like anywhere from uh, could be up to fifteen to twenty dollars an hour, or it could be on a higher end depending upon. Um, it could be on a higher end of maybe about seventy-five to eighty-five or even a hundred dollars an hour, but it's going to be dependent upon the type of equipment in those commercial kitchens. The more uh, advanced type of equipment that you need, or if you need a lot of shelf space, or if you need a lot of storage space. Many of them come also with freezers and refrigerators that allow you to rent that space for your food products, either their ingredients or a finalized finished product. Okay. Now, all of those um, areas within a commercial kitchen that you're renting, if it's the kitchen and if they're charging separately for a freezer, or like a walk-in freezer or a refrigerator, um, those can add up. But don't get discouraged. What you need to do is do your homework first. Find out what is it specifically you want to make. That's the most important thing because that's going to dictate the type of facility you need to rent. Then you want to find out from the facility, hey, call them up and say, I want to make such and such a product. How does it work as far as renting from you? Is there a minimum amount of hours? Do I rent it by the day, et cetera, et cetera. You explain to them your product and your scenario and what you want to do. Then once you find one that is, is really right for you, then what you can do is create some sample batches of your product and you can shop it around to local grocery stores and local um, either mom and pop grocery stores or independently owned cafes. Like I mentioned in a lot of my other videos, there are numerous ways and places to sell food products, not just in grocery stores. Okay. So you want to go there and you want to present your product once you create your samples and then let them see it. Okay. So then from there, you can get a feel for, Hey, you know what? This is a product that I could potentially be making money from. Figure out how long it takes you to create an order, okay? If you go to one of these places and you say, look, here's my sell sheet. Put together a sell sheet and you've got the product pricing. And they're like, wow, this is great. I want to put in an order. Give me like three or four cases. Figure out how long it takes for you to make that three or four cases. And then you'll know how much time you need to rent in your commercial kitchen. With that being said, you go in and you create that. You get a purchase order. You say, look, I can create this in two weeks. Here's the purchase order. Have them sign it, and they're going to place an order with you. Go to the commercial kitchen, produce your product, get it packaged, and get it set. And then from there, you can either store it in the commercial kitchen or de deliver it immediately after you make it. Deliver it right to that um, outlet, wherever it may be, if it happens to be a coffee shop or a grocery store. Okay. So the fact that you can't necessarily make something within your home in no way, shape, or form will limit you to pursuing a food business. Don't let it stop you. Just right now, between the time that you decide, you realize that you can't necessarily produce a uh, commercially viable product that you can sell to restaurants and uh, grocery stores and other retailers, you can't make it out of your home, there are other ways to do it. So I would highly recommend that if this is something very new to you and you want to get into doing it, check out the kitchen incubator concept, okay? Just because it can encompass a lot of other information, business aspects that you may not have thought of, you know, incorporating yourself. There's also places that even offer legal advice. Uh, you can incorporate yourself, get logos designed, package designed. They'll help you with every aspect of what it is you're making, okay? So with that being said, take the time to do the homework, okay? Research it, check it out, and see if there's one near you. Um, if there's not, don't get discouraged. Then go to a, a commercially uh, rentable, a, a kitchen that can be rented. That's a commercially licensed facility. Um, and there's even in some cases a lot of, if you want to just sell it locally to get an idea, if you want to go to the fairs and festival route and do a local uh, type of business, there's even places like even churches and other schools and there's um, community centers and uh, retirement community centers and such that have kitchens available that you can literally go to and say, look, can I rent this out? The space from you. I'm going to be producing a food product. I'm selling it locally. I can't produce it in my home, but I can definitely use a commercially licensed facility similar to yours, and I'd be happy to rent it.
There's nothing wrong with asking. They can say yes or they can say no. So check it out. Kitchen incubators, that may be a great route to start. If not, a commercially uh, licensed uh, kitchen that you can rent out. And then, again, do your homework and find out how much it would cost. So I hope that uh, kind of explains in a nutshell what other routes that you can take if you can't necessarily produce a product at home, but you don't want to give up on the idea and goal or your dream of having to set up a food business, don't stop there. you got to keep knocking on doors and then figure out what way to do it. It's not necessarily trying to get around anything or do something uh, that's not legal or something to that effect. You don't want to do that. But there's a ton of different ways. You just got to get creative with where can I produce it and then where can I get it sold. So if that helps you out, do give me a big thumbs up. I do appreciate you guys' feedback as well. And if you have any comments about kitchen incubators or questions, let me know as always down below and I'll try to get to them 